Production at Tobias Ripper. How are you, Tobias? Oh, not so bad. How about you? Well, thank you very, very good. Thank you. I mean, very happy. I mean, this is a, this is like a dream <laughs> for, for every, anybody who li likes cars. I mean, has to come here at some point in their life at least once, right? Well, thank you that you are saying so because I have to. But if you feel that it is such a dream to be here at the Autostadt, I mean, highly appreciated to have you here. Yeah, so this place has been here uh, since uh, 2000, I understand? That's right, we opened the Autostadt for the, uh, during the Expo 2000, which was uh, taking place in Hanover. And on the 1st of June we opened the Autostadt in Wolfsburg, which is only a 70 kilometers right from Hanover, to do something long-lasting and to have a sustainable, long-lasting approach to present the complete group of Volkswagen to customers and interested people. Yeah. So the Autostadt stands for the city of cars, right? That is right. This is like um, the um, it, you have it like Detroit is yeah, a car no, city. But the, the literal, literal but translation. Li literal translation, translation is, yeah. is car city. Okay. So um, and and we use that because like as Detroit, for example, it's car city, but we are the the car city in Wolfsburg. Yeah. We are the car city of Volkswagen. And uh, even though it's the, the, the car city of Volkswagen, there's no, I mean, there's a lot of Volkswagen here, but like mm -hmm. once you entered into this place, you see a lot of everything and not only Volkswagen cars, you see other, other brands. Uh, obviously the group is, is big and they have like very prestigious yeah. brands, but once you see all the exhibits, it's not like you're trying to push the Volkswagen mark into people's forehead or something when, when they get in, right? Totally right, because like people know where they are. They know when you're at Wolfsburg in Germany, you know that you're with Volkswagen. So and our approach is to, in the theory of marketing, we say it's a pull marketing. So the customer can decide what he's going to do when he's here. And it's either having simply a very good lunch um, visit one of our pavilions of the different brands, go to our museum, the Zeithaus, the Time House, where we display more than 50 different brands. So Volkswagen, but as well, we do have Mercedes, we do have Ford, the Model T or stuff like that. Yeah. So milestones of car delivery. So people come here to spend their spare time, their free time, and we want to offer them a good time and to, to think about different things. Yeah, and then speaking of that, I mean, once you enter like the big plaza, the, the, big, mm -hmm. uh, the big entrance to, yeah. to the, to the Autostadt, there's a lot of information everywhere you look around, but very, mm -hmm put in a very elegant way and people can get into it and like mm -hmm. I guess you can spend like weeks here to learn everything but for example can you talk about the the world uh, that is hanging on the on the plaza and then like what is underneath the floor yeah perhaps uh, your listeners they can come to our homepage and then they see the picture of what I'm talking yeah, about radio is hard to, hard to explain it. these uh, things right so I'll try to uh, when you enter this big hall which is quite tall uh, you see a model of the globe uh, so there is no logo of, of Volkswagen or any other group uh, logos, as you said. And under this big, big globe, there is little globes under the floor and you run on a glass surface. And each globe has some information like on population, on car delivery, on, on, on very different thing, on, 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 I don't know, health situation all over the world. And you can go into the, um, you can have information about it, or you simply can have a look at it and say, well, it's looking great and okay. I like it, and you, then you move on. So, and um, again, as your listeners can see me, we all wear the same clothing here. So, so either it's a CEO, myself, or a colleague working in, in our park, we have the same clothing in order to be that you as our customer, you, if you see me, you know immediately I'm working for the Autostadt. And then I, if you have a question, you can address me and I can explain you something about this art piece or where the next pavilion is. So by this, we want to combine service and art and, and, and um, like the, the approach how to communicate with our customers in a new way. And as you said, not to push like, like we are not a sales organization, we are okay. a communication organization. So uh, this place was designed uh, with like the influence of uh, Disneyland, I understand, like the, the, this is like a theme park, right? It is a theme park and in the year 2000 there were no other automotive theme parks. So we learned a lot from Disney, for example, on how to do uh, facility management and how to do maintenance. So. Uh, we do all the big works and everything we, we need to do, cleaning and stuff like that. We do that at night in order that uh, the, the customers who visit us during the day don't are they, they not to get them into contact with so, such a hard work or stuff like that because they shall 
have a good time here. So, and we learned a lot from Disney, for example, at that time. Yeah, um, I learned something. I heard something that is kind of funny, almost like, for example, this is a park, and in the summer we're now in like the end of October, mm -hmm. so the weather is not that nice anymore. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I guess uh, you, you have a lot of gardens and like mm -hmm. beautiful uh, trees and plants. So you have gardens during the day, but they're like, they're not doing their work. They're just like. Artists, almost, right? <laughs> well, they are <laughs> the artists. They are, well, the, the thing is, you're right. I mean, as I said, the hard work, the hard gardening work, that is done at night. And if you see, like, in summer, there was nice hats and, and those clothing and everything. And they, in the end of the day, yeah, you're right, they do a show gardening. <laughs> but this is not because we want to see them and doing this. But they, the guests of the Erdestadt, they they ask them, why are they doing um, um, cutting the, those things and now yeah. now doing the water at that plant or so? And they know all the details about the the gardening stuff. So and then you come into a dialogue. Part of the attraction. It's part of the attraction. Yeah. So um, this place when it opened in 2000, mm -hmm. um, why was it important for Volkswagen to create uh, such a, 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 I, I guess it was a big investment? And I, was, what were the expectations back then? Well, the idea was to get a to to create something long-lasting to uh, enforce and to 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 get a better relationship to your customers and as well to cus to to non-customers yet. So to have an approach where people come into their free time, we try to establish the so-called third place. So the first place is where you work. The second place is always your family, and the third place. This is the place where you go in your free time. Uh, and you want to spare your, uh, you, you want to spend your free time, and this is what we want to, want to be for for our guests, a place where you can come in your free time and simply enjoy. So um, and enjoyment is a very broad range. Exactly. So you can just relax, it's lying in the sun. You can test drive a car. You can have a good coffee. Uh, so uh, we offer this and. By doing all this, people know that they are at the Autostadt and they are with Volkswagen. And when they are leaving, they remember, okay, I had this good time at the Autostadt. And then we know that by our market research, in mind, we sell a lot of cars. Because, we don't, that. because the decision to seriously buy the next Volkswagen, Audi, you name it, but a, a member of the, the group uh, brands, the decision was taken here and this is as we know from our market research the place in the world most decisions have been made for folks on. That's great. But also and this is going to make jealous a lot of audi well, all of our audience in the US you deliver your cars here for the right. local market. So I mean unfortunately if someone from the states wants to do this they can do it but let's explain the okay. process because it's it's really fascinating. Well you buy you buy your new golf for example you buy it as your at your local dealer and then the, uh, you discuss with your local dealer if you want to pick it up at your local dealer or if you want to spend for example a special weekend at the Autostadt. So and then um, we have a offer for you. You come here, you, um, you stay overnight at our Ritz-Carlton Hotel here on our grounds and uh, you arrive on Saturday, for example. You have uh, tours through the Autostadt, you do uh, some of our attractions, some test driving and on Sunday you get your new car. So we store it in one of our 40 meter high two car towers. We can store up to 800 cars in there. It's an iconic visual. Perhaps yeah. again, go to the website. You can see some <laughs> pictures. So, and we deliver. Then you get your new car here, and this is a very special moment in the end. I mean, a car is something a lot of families and people are. They save money for it, and it's a special moment to get this new car. And we celebrate it as a very special moment. And then when you got your new car afterwards, um, you drive home perhaps on Sunday. Then leaving the Autostadt, and hopefully you're going to return soon. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I think in the States that uh, the culture of buying a car is so different and I it don't think it will work because uh, imagine people come here and let me give me one in the yeah, 20th right. floor. <laughs> that's why, that's why the, the idea of the Autostadt, how it is set up here, is not simply um, transportable to yeah. the US or to China. It's so unique. It's unique for the German market. So talking about an Autostadt in, in, uh, in the US that has to look totally different, so yeah, it's not planned. A different concept, yeah. Totally different concept. This is not like, it's not an export product. Yeah. So uh, when it opened in 2000, it had the brands that were at the moment with the group, but now you had to a new addition since 2012. 
Yeah, the, uh, in 2012 we opened the Porsche Pavilion because in, at the beginning we didn't have any Porsche Pavilion at the outer start. And in, two thir in 2013, so we opened a new, we call it Exit. It is a, an area where you can test drive your new car and get familiar with it before you enter the normal traffic. Because like with this new car, you're perhaps a bit nervous and everything. And on this, we call it Ausfahrt in German or Exit. Uh, you can get familiar with your car and, and afterwards like go into traffic and have fun with your Volkswagen. So can we talk briefly about uh, when people come to visit here in Germany, what are the prices? Where, where can they reserve in advance or mm. something like that? Well, if you come here, uh, we, we um, um, the adults have to uh, buy a 15 euro day ticket. You can, with your family, we do have special offers for families or for bigger groups. Um, so um, normal ticket for a family is about 35 euro a day. And you can as well like buy an annual ticket. So when you're, for example, from the area of Wolfsburg, we have approximately 80,000 annual tickets outside. So this is, of course, people living here in the area yeah. because they come several times. For example, in, in summer, we do have the world's biggest water fountain shows all over the world. Wow. 70 meters going up into the air with laser, fire and everything. And then we have about 10,000 people in the night looking at this show. And of course, there's a lot of people having an uh, annual ticket. Yeah, and if uh, people who love soccer and come in a weekend, maybe they can go to, uh, across the street and watch a yeah, lots of, play. Yeah, lots of people combine <laughs> this. I mean, especially when when uh, we do have like like um, uh, the fans from the other uh, from the other from the other team, they combine and oh, visit okay. uh, uh, with the Autostadt and to to have hopefully losing their team because Wolfsburg <laughs> has to win. <laughs> but enjoy the Wolf. Okay, so yes, we only have like uh, 30 more seconds here. All right. In the show, can you, uh, is there a website? Uh, you mentioned it several right. times where can people can go and, and look for more information about this? Yeah, it's either autostadt.com or autostadt.de. And we do have an English version um, and there you see like, like what we are offering and you see the things we just talked about. And it was a pleasure having you here. And I just have, uh, can say, like, if you do plan a trip um, to, to come over to Europe, to Germany, we are very happy to welcome you all here. Excellent. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Uh, we're going to keep enjoying our visit here in Wolfsburg and tomorrow driving the Golf E. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.